Okay, I'm excited. We're gonna get into this. I'm out if it's below A. Well, we're gonna be ranking every single Call of Duty. I'm excited for you guys to see this. Do you have a nuke? I I dropped nukes. I think we're gonna officially do this live to my Call of Duty tier list. We made a zombies one. I'm excited for this one. We're gonna be doing it live. So honestly, we're gonna start off with just something simple like Call of Duty 3. I'm just gonna throw into the F tier because I've never actually played this Call of Duty. I didn't play Call of Duty 1, 2, or 3, so I don't have opinions on this. So I'm just gonna throw into the F tier. F tier is also like, I don't know. Is there Call of Duty 1, 2? Okay, that's Call of Duty 1 or 2. I'm throwing that in there. And there also should be a new. I don't. I only see these two. Because this is World at War, I think, right? I'm not tripping. But it never played tier. I know I was thinking that, but I was like, yeah. Okay, but we're gonna. Should I close my eyes and randomly rank them? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. This one. Black Ops 4. So I love Black Ops 4. I, I think it's probably one of the most underrated called CODs of all time, if not the most underrated COD. That or Cold War, in my opinion. But for Black Ops 4, I, I'm, it's obviously not bad. It's not, it's better than not bad. Is it above average? Yes. Is it goaded? I really do think it's underrated. The Zombies is a really big hit or miss. You have maps like 9X, which are like Hall of Fame maps, but then you have maps like Dead of the Night, Alpha and Mega, which brings it to really bad. Blackout was also a brand new concept. I thought Blackout was actually like really sick because it was like the Warzone before the Warzone. And honestly, I think Warzone only succeeded because of Blackout, because of everything. BF4 is goaded. See, I think I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna probably I don't know. I'm honestly really stuck between above average and goaded, in my opinion. I think for now, we're going to throw it into Goaded. I love this Call of Duty. I grinded my channel, my YouTube channel, like some channels you guys haven't seen, obviously, for good reasons. But I have some Black Ops 4 videos. I was really good at sniping. I'm going to throw it into the Goaded section just for this. Just want to close my eyes. Wait, no, wait. Okay, wait. Sorry, sorry. This is... We're throwing that. We don't know that. There's World at War. Okay. Buh, 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 buh. Nope. I just grabbed... Okay. Buh, 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 buh. Okay. Warzone 2. See? Okay, now this is gonna be some hot takes. This is gonna be pretty bad. My list is also not gonna be good like my zombies list, if you guys saw my zombies list. Okay, Warzone 2, obviously, this feature during Monfort 2. This is not original, this is not Warzone 3. Monfort 2 will obviously like show us later and I'll be ranking that later. But for actual Warzone, I don't think it's F tier, obviously. I don't think it's bad. I'm gonna throw it into the not bad section. I'm not the biggest Warzone guy. I had so much fun actually playing Ashika Island. I remember Nadia killed me, and that was like one of my most famous clips as well. Can't believe I ran into a lobby with her. What skill based matchmaking? I'm into a lobby with a pro. What's going on? But honestly, I feel like it's a fair ranking because obviously we know like the OG status of Warzone 1 and what the community thinks in Warzone 3 with the movement. Because the movement in this game was honestly just too slow and too bad, in my opinion. World War 2? Wait. Oh, Warzone 2 is the worst game? I'm throwing it into not bad. I don't think it's bad at all i don't think it's bad we'll, we'll just rank this so honestly i don't see warzone 3 at all we're just gonna say this one is warzone 3 and this is the og warzone warzone 3 og warzone because obviously these are both like og different but i think warzone 1 is all the way through modern warfare 2019 until like modern warfare 2 for example close my eyes boom black ops 2 honestly i am so sorry but i think this is gonna go in Dude, it's definitely above average. Is it go to the Hall of Fame? I know this is some hot takes. I grew up on Black Ops 2. I got to throw into Hall of Fame. The multiplayer was absolutely classic. Sniping was at its best of all time. Watching the Red House, watching the phase guys during Black Ops 2 was amazing. Black Ops 2 Zombies was also incredible. The best zombies, if not top three at least, I would say. And especially for the community, I think we can all agree. The guns were cool. The maps were really nice. Nuketown favorite, second favorite Nuketown of all time. Black Ops 2 is way too classic. I didn't really play a campaign, so I don't have too much saying on the campaign. But Zombies and Multiplayer absolutely brings this to a Hall of Fame. I never played it. You never played Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was the most goaded game ever. See, I'm throwing it to Hall of Fame. It's probably not going to be my favorite, in, and it's, it won't be definitely for sure the other Hall of Fame game, as you guys will see. Close my eyes. Boom. Infinite Warfare. I've been playing a ton of Infinite Warfare. Okay, at the, at the time when this game launched, I'm throwing it into bad i don't think this game is an f tier because i think zombies and zombies is baseland loki kind of carries this to at least a bad category uh, when this game came out i remember i was the first person in the entire world to get diamond smgs first person to ever post about them i was grinding this game i was a grinder played the beta with my good friends as you guys know you guys know sprays who's usually in stream played with him he was at my house we played the beta loved the beta sniping was all right in this game 
I thought it was very underrated. The operators were a little bit overwhelming, but they felt more balanced than the Black Ops 3 overpowered specialists overall. But where do I put Infinite Warfare? Because I think it's bad at launch. I feel like I, sh I wish I added like an underrated category because obviously you can see some of those too. But I'm going to throw Infinite Warfare in above average. I really do think it's above average. I think the only reason this game got hate is because of the bandwagon hate. I literally YouTube like removed dislikes because of this because I had like 3.7 million dislikes. But let's be honest, pretty much everyone disliked it to hop on the train. This game is not as bad as you guys think. The camels, Black Sky and Solar Camel were actually actually one of the best mastery camels to ever get i want them to see return we had 30 prestiges instead of 10 classic prestigion we don't know classic prestigion nowadays so honestly i think this deserves to be an above average honestly it's kind of funny how we have like one in every single category so far i'm not even like trying to do that on purpose world war ii i say world war ii is the most underrated game of all time in my opinion i'm gonna instantly throw it into above average is it better than infinite warfare maybe content wise yes but is it actually better i enjoy playing infinite warfare more so i'm gonna throw it right behind infinite warfare but world war 2 is not a bad game obviously they tried bringing back the classic war game mode war theme war everything the og and it kind of disappointed we're not in a time and era where we should be seeing these older games we should be seeing realistic future games like black ops 3 we should be seeing games like these i don't know why we went back to like og mount for 2 like mount for 2 like 2020 22 we're seeing mount for 3 like i don't know we should be living in the future especially where call of duty is nowadays honestly world war 2 had like the most dlc guns most content the, the headquarters where you could go around open supply drops in front of people that is something i don't know why we never had back in call of duty where you can interact with people live there was a 1v1 pit there was like this free for all thing you could do the shooting aim combat classic prestige was in the, here shipment was absolutely broken but it was fun i remember one time years ago this was like four years ago five years ago dismo probably had like 400k on youtube or whatever but he stopped in my stream and as soon as dismo stopped in my stream i hit a sniper quad feed i made it into a video on one of my older channels they have great memories i think this call of duty is definitely underrated world war ii is underrated you can't tell me it's not you agree well i'm glad someone could agree with this world war ii multiplayer is actually fun that's what i'm saying i'm saying world war ii multiplayer was actually like fun sandbox dude it had some creative maps as well that we've never seen return i don't know why world war ii is underrated for the content zombies let's be honest zombies was really bad but it started off okay with final reich and then after that as you guys saw my zombie tier list it really did fail as for zombie side i don't know how the campaign was like i said i'm not a campaign player at all i heard the campaign was actually pretty decent it wasn't anything special i'm pretty sure but yeah i'm thrown into above average i think it does deserve to be the above average yo thank you for the follow on twitch and the mastery camos were actually uh solid uh i don't know chrome camo in world war ii i think was definitely disappointing one of my least favorite because it wasn't colorful it was just literally chrome but royal tiger and like there was like another like royal tiger there's like kind of two royal tigers those carried hard and those were really nice i like those cold war where does it deserve to be is it f tier no is it bad no is it not bad it's better than not bad is it above average is it better than world war ii is it better than infinite warfare is it better than black ops 4 i'm throwing it right behind black ops 4 it would be higher if skill-based matchmaking was lower skill-based matchmaking was insane in this game i have so many memories of playing snd with my friends like my IRL friends like during like COVID times too we literally grinded snd never had more fun on a call of duty like literally this call of duty i love this call of duty i don't know what you guys think of it let me know do you guys like cold war i think it's really good i think zombies is super underrated die machine mauer to totes and forsaken golden maps i can understand why you guys wouldn't actually like uh firebase z because i'm not the biggest fan of it either but the zombies was underrated really really solid multiplayer really really solid it honestly had like the one prestige system which i didn't like but i like how like every single season you could grind to level 1000 and it would reset back to zero instead of now like me and mom for three being at level 250 stuck for three months level 500 stuck for three months i kind of wish we just went back to zero and maybe they made the cap but skill based matchmaking was an all-time high if skill based matchmaking wasn't as crazy it would be in hall of fame but for now i think it's behind goaded behind right black or right behind black ops 4 fast cold war is fire dude or facts yeah facts dude cold war was fire i feel like it was i'm just gonna be kind of going like this and randomly picking up one modern warfare 3 the game we have on right now the game that is the current game i'm gonna instantly throw this into the middle of infinite warfare and world war ii a little bit above average it's not bad i had so much fun grinding interstellar right away the grind to interstellar is one of the best things ever zombies 
really repetitive but it's really good for the camo grinds like you can do so much in zombies you can do whatever you want campaign never played the campaign i don't think i've ever really played any of these campaigns but modern free 3 multiplayer is all right obviously skill-based matchmaking again brings it down the guns are fun to use the movement we got back i think was really fun i don't have too many like crazy things to say about modern free 3 besides it is solid overall i had more fun in infinite warfare that's why it's behind it i can see why it can be right here though i know some people are saying that like as this game goes on it's starting to tank a little bit i'm not including warzone also into this mountain for three because obviously we have like the war zone quote unquote three that's what i'm going to be ranking later but i think this deserves to be like just right in here right in the middle right between these guys okay next map boom Ooh. okay were we saying this was a war zone one i think we we're saying this was war zone three okay so we're just gonna pretend this is war zone three okay war zone three i think it deserves to be in above average but at the end honestly everything's like above average at this point but it's because above average is good okay but above average war zone three it's better than war zone two it brought back the movement rebirth right now is making this higher i have really high expectations as we go into the seasons to see if they can make war zone even better so that's why i put it in above average by the end of the life cycle i want to be bad if it or i want to be mad at like if it falls into not bad or maybe even into go to depending like where they take it but i think whatever they do for the next war zone for like war zone quote unquote four or three or whatever you want to call it next year where they're bringing back the og like war zone one map i could see it being goaded but for now at the times i think it's right here in above average i don't think it's too crazy at all i don't think it's like a crazy pick at all i don't know i'm curious because i know a lot of people most likely are going to put in not bad or even behind war zone two or like right above war zone two and i can respect that i can see that oh Warzone 1, the original. I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty after this, and I kind of went more full on Fortnite, slash a little bit of like Cold War during like Vanguard's time, if that makes sense. Because obviously I played like a lot of this, I but after like two or three weeks, I stopped playing the original Warzone 1. So in the original Warzone 1, this is going to get a lot of hate. I'm going to throw it into the bad section, our first bad section everyone's favorite warzone is warzone 1 and i can respect it it was a lot of fun but i honestly enjoyed warzone 2 and warzone 3 more maybe the more time i start actually playing into warzone was really good plus battle royale i was a really big fan of building in fortnite and like the actual like skill level of fortnite compared to warzone i like the fortnite side a lot more so that's why i didn't really think i liked warzone 1 at the time but i respect warzone 1 it did so much for the cod community brought back call of duty it really did black ops one uh black ops one should be in the goaded or hall of fame but i really did miss out on black ops one i'm gonna throw it into the above average right behind warzone 3 because i just missed out on this call of duty if i would have played this call of duty throughout its life cycle and played more of black ops one i honestly think i would easily put it in golden hall of fame did i play the zombies a little bit of zombies but nothing too crazy to make this higher I just missed out on Black Ops 1. I can't say too much like good or crazy or bad things about it. The COD point system was really cool because in this, you didn't get like the traditional COD points we know nowadays. The old COD points that you actually did for the COD points was you could wager, which I think they should bring that back. That would be super fun if we had something like that, especially if you could like set up like fans with that, like 1v1. I can get like you guys to 1v1 each other. Winner gets how many of her COD points to unlock some other stuff. It brought in a lot of cool features, brought in Nuketown, go to nuketown and black ops one like i said if i would have played more it definitely would have be above like probably most of these call of duties but for now since i missed out sadly on it i'm just gonna throw it into the above average section mono for two last year 2022 not the original mw2 original last year uh i'm gonna throw this into the not bad right above warzone 2 kind of this whole year was not bad the beginning of it playing with alex playing with other friends so much fun for the orion camel grind no, the thing that brought it down dude the 25 launch shots with every gun was ridiculous they released with like eight maps total season one got delayed by like four months it seemed like did not did not really enjoy it after like a month or two once i actually did unlock interstellar there was really no cool updates i didn't like how for every single dlc we gun or gun we got was literally a variant of another gun but they just named it like different by a little bit it was so annoying to see i was not a fan of it mw2 is one of the worst yeah it's definitely not one of my favorite like i said love the beginning of it but obviously that's the cod honeymoon stage we're all going to be loving it like that but it, it's been falling down the list the more i think about it the more i honestly end up disliking it it started off good but it did not finish off good at all modern Warfare 2 wow the original one now 
this is going to be a very hot take, and I am sorry, but I'm going to throw this into the bad section, right behind Warzone 1. But it's because I did not grow up playing this game at all. The only time I actually played the original Modern Warfare 2 was when I went back to it, and honestly, it's filled with hackers. No camo grind, which as you guys know, I'm a big, big, big camo grinder. That's all I love doing on old Call of Duties, on new Call of Duties, is just trying to like level up, get progress. Obviously, like watching it, like watching phase, watching old videos on it, easily this game's into Hall of Fame. The times during this game was also at an all-time high, but I was more of a huge Halo guy and other Xbox 360 kind of game kid that the reason MW2 is literally down here, the original, is because I just did not have enough time playing it. This and M. Black Ops 1 were like the only years I actually like really missed out on Call of Duty. OG MW2 sucks. Yeah, I, you're probably the first person to ever agree with me. This list, I can understand this list being bad. If someone sees this, oh my. Call of Duty Ghost. One of my favorite Call of Duties ever. Instantly gonna throw this into the goaded right above Black Ops 4. It's definitely not Hall of Fame, but it's definitely goaded. My childhood, a lot of my childhood was here in the goaded section with Call of Duty Ghost. I was ranked number two, three in the world for, uh, what, Infected? You guys know the game mode Infected? The good Infected? We had like three good years of Infected. I'm putting Ghost into goaded. I had so many memories. The only campaign I played, and the campaign is so good. We need a Ghost 2 campaign. I need to know what happens. Did I think about it? I swear, like, every night, I'm like, dude, when is the next COD Ghost coming out for the campaign? We got to see it. Extinction, horrible. Didn't like it. I can agree with that. But the multiplayer side for this was so fun. Also, my first ever YouTube video of all time, which I think August 7th or something or sometime in August is going to be 10 years since I've been doing YouTube. It was on a Call of Duty Ghost video. So much nostalgia behind it. My cousin and I, we played it a ton grinded the bot lobbies like playing against bots we came up with challenges honestly i'm just having a lot of fun with ghosts i grew up on it chem strikes a ton i loved it i i i know i can uh. Ooh, advanced warfare hall of fame right away this is gonna be the hottest take i after call or call of duty ghosts advanced warfare came out and yeah zombies i am a big 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 lover of exo zombies nothing more can like change my opinion on why it could be bad or why it can be in the goaded or even in the f tier for a lot of people say i thought advanced warfare was really sick really ahead of its time obviously it's the first call of duty we had exosuits it brought in supply drops which i know a lot of people hate supply drops but i love supply drops i think it's so cool that we can open up something like grind towards something to open up to see if we get something good or bad honestly i love that whole aspect of it they brought back the blunderbuss which was really cool all these other guns i remember the skins in advanced warfare were also very crazy i think advanced warfare did do really good and i thought it brought in a lot of good things i can see why it brought in a lot of bad things for call of duty but honestly i just ignore all that and i think advanced warfare is deserved to be in the hall of fame and is it above black ops 2 it's even going above black ops 2 i know that sounds crazy it is one of my favorite call of duties if not my favorite call of duty of all time okay we have what one two three four five six six call of duties left oh man this is gonna get heated what do you guys think of the list so far honestly if you guys had to like put your guys's uh list Honestly, I throw my list into F tier, if I'm being honest myself. I mean, it's my list, but I know it's super bad. Sacker Price, I gotta go. Dude, you have a great rest of your night. Okay. Between these six Call of Duties, we get... We get... Modern Warfare 3, the original. Instantly, again, Hall of Fame. Above Advanced Warfare. Like I said, top three Call of Duty of all time. This is probably number two, or number one, or even maybe number three. Kind of switches between all of the three. I loved Modern Warfare 3 literally grew up that was my childhood game that and halo was my childhood game i was also ranked number one in the world for a long time on this game i don't have to say too much about original mw3 because you guys know how good it was honestly all the maps went hard hard hat uh, uh, the sub one there were so many good goaded maps Modern for three gunplay was super smooth super nice the what the survival ops in that game mode two worked super well instead of having zombies I would have that back. The same system. I would have that back. I love Modern Warfare 3. It'll always be in Hall of Fame no matter what. The memories, dude. Watch. I remember my first ever YouTube video. Like, I actually remember watching and sub subbing to someone, which was Elite Shot. Was his era during Hall or during Modern Warfare 3. Love that. It deserves to be in Hall of Fame. MW2 mid. You're definitely buying an MW3. I think I'm pretty good in MW3. I'd say I'm above average. MW2 definitely deserves to be in the not bad section. No, like, last year's MW2, dude, that... It was it was too boring. Top four's Hall of Famer. We'll see. Monfort 2019 F tier. 
it does dude this call of duty is so bad it ruined call of duty for me it ruined call of duty for everyone obviously guys this is not including warzone so take warzone out tell me one thing that was actually good about this game the only thing i can give credit for was the snd sniping was an all-time high but the multiplayer sucked the movement was okay nothing great the maps were way too big could not find anyone once shipment came out for this call of duty no one even played any other game mode besides shipment because all the other maps were bad like i said the only good thing about this is the sniping for multiplayer it added indoors skill-based matchmaking was literally at all all time high it really was mw wasn't that bad i really like snd that's what i'm saying i think the only reason i can say this game would could be even in the bad section is because of the sniping and the snd but it really isn't it really is not to your game if you get rid of like the snd and sniping this game i just don't think it's good damascus was not worth it at all you had to get every single gun to level 70 and damascus didn't even look good that's not including the challenges you had to get to get level 70 as well if there was a better master camo if it was something even like black sky or solar camo from warfare this game definitely would be higher for me because you guys know i love camo grinding I've said it so many times already but modern warfare, modern warfare is my worst hated cod it's always going to be like the most hated cod most likely for me but we'll just keep moving on we have four call of duties left and i definitely know where i'm going to be ranking some of these this one world at war I actually grew up on World of War. I know I said I missed like Black Ops 1 and I missed like OGMW2, but I played a lot of World of War or World at War. And I'm honestly, I'm gonna throw it right behind World War 2. I didn't play as much as these other Call of Duties, but World at War was a really fun Call of Duty. Multiplayer is really solid. Obviously, it introduced zombies, which we all know like as of today. And the zombie maps were actually pretty cool. Knocked was Knocked was alright. I mean it was boring. Baruch was insane but scary. I remember like definitely logging on to like world at war it was my first call of duty I remember completing the campaign and i remember hopping into zombies dude i was so scared i was so scared of zombies back then and i missed that feeling of being scared and world at war brought that even the multiplayer was honestly scary i think they did a really good job with uh world at war obviously i think it was like treyarch's like first year and they actually killed it obviously their first year i think was call of duty 3 and it did really bad so no one thought this call of duty was gonna be good but then world at war came out and i honestly think i think it just shot up call of duty treyarch obviously blew up from this game brought in zombies dude i can say so much good stuff about world at, world at war 2 especially with like the zombie side thank god it brought in zombies with three call of duties left i'm just gonna start with vanguard vanguard when it came out the first month of it was goaded but as time went on it kind of slipped i'm gonna eat ugh, this is gonna sound crazy i'm throwing it in above above average behind infinite warfare multiplayer honestly thought was super fun the combat pacing stuff they have we need the combat pa pa pacing i don't know why they didn't bring it back vanguard they killed it on the combat pacing where you can have game modes of like 7v7 on some maps 10v10 16 uh v16 i thought we should have that back i'm still surprised we haven't got that back zombies was actually horrible until we got at least shino numa that brought that up to at least that but it still was nothing crazy i think vanguard's too hated like i said people just hate on it because it was they just want to hate on it there's really no reason besides that same with infant warfare people hate on infant warfare because why not hate on it if you see someone else hate on a call of duty like someone that you look up to someone that's big in the cod community instantly you're gonna be like oh yeah i don't like that call of duty either i don't know i just don't get that but yeah like i said if i would have played more block ops one easily behind here but i just didn't miss out on it so i can't rate it much higher than above average i've gone back to it and i've had some fun iw is a top three for me not gonna lie probably sounds crazy but i don't know dude i love iw like i said i have iw in my above average i think iw is really really good next up black ops 3 favorite call of duty ever you guys know this i don't have to say much i've made so many videos so many videos over the years i literally have like a year played at least on zombies and multiplayer probably alone i know the campaign sucked i haven't played it but i know a lot of people said it was really bad zombies literally has my favorite zombie map of all time probably like in the top 10 it has like four of my favorite zombie maps of all time multiplayer was actually s tier the graphics was s tier you can't tell me it was not iw was hated because it was the last exosuit game people were in the train hating on the futuristic vibe i know and now we got we got what this mount for two we got vanguard and we got mw3 and everyone's like no we need futuristic cods but when we try to get a futuristic cod you guys all hate the futuristic cods i don't i don't get it i don't know what you guys want yeah, maybe you guys want a game probably like black ops 2 which we are go for seems like it's gonna be like a mix of that and cold war i'm excited but going back to black ops 3 s tier will always be my favorite call of duty i just don't think anything could ever top this now we're on to our last call of duty game call of duty 4 i said i missed out on three call of duties total black ops 1 mw2 
and COD 4. I pretty much missed out on the original COD 4. I have some memories on it, but I did go back and play the remastered, which was, I think the remastered was better than the original, in my opinion, uh, when, when it came out with IW. So I'm kind of basing this off of remastered, and basing it off remastered, I'm going to throw it into the not bad section. I'm going to throw it into above Monfrey 2 and Warzone 2. Like I said, if I would have played more of this Call of Duty, it would have been higher. Remastered, I thought it was alright. I thought it was better because they brought in guns, supply drops. A ton, a ton of content that was actually unexpected. The prestige system, there was a ton of prestiges, I feel like. And honestly, I feel like this is a solid-ish pick. I know it should be a lot higher. It's in Hall of Fame for pretty much everyone, I feel like. But like I said, I kind of missed out on the year. That's why. If I actually like played during that year, I definitely would have liked it a lot more. And yeah, this is my COD list. What do you guys think of it in total? Like A or S, A, B, C, D, or F. What do you guys think it is? Honestly, like I said, honestly, my tier list is probably like in the F or D section. But since it's just my opinion, obviously it's in my S plus tier or whatever. 